Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to another live stream. Today is February 23rd, 2019. And uh, I figured for today, we just leave it open, open discussion. Anything you guys want to talk about, almost anything you guys want to talk about. Um, last week we did a math stream where we didn't really do any mathematics. <laughs> Uh, we talked a little bit about math, but we didn't do any math on the boards and stuff. And we just went off on different discussions of life and food and fasting and a lot of different things. So I thought uh, uh, we'll just do an open discussion, whatever comes up. Uh, so that's my little intro, whatever one minute intro to this thing. And we'll see where the conversation takes us. Um, obviously, there's a lot of stuff going on in regards to politics, economics, in regards to technology. There's a lot of amazing comic books being put out, some amazing TV shows. The TV shows related to comic books are absolutely brilliant. I just finished watching Umbrella Academy, and that was fantastic. Really, really well done. I haven't read the comic book series yet, uh, but I'm looking forward to reading it now. Uh, Gerald Way, I guess. I think Gerald Way uh, wrote it. Um, so there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, hello, X. How are you doing? Welcome to another stream. I've been looking forward to this one just to see where the conversation takes us. Um, I just like these open discussions uh, where we where we go uh, from here. So we'll just leave it leave that as the intro and usually it takes a few minutes uh, for people to drop by. Hey Ma, how are you doing? Welcome to another live stream. I hope you guys having a great Saturday. Porg, ahoy, ahoy. I haven't seen you for a while, man. I don't think so anyway. I sometimes mix up all the names and stuff, so uh throws me off. Anna, how are you doing? Hope uh, our sister city's treating you well. Or my sister city and your home city. I believe so anyway, Seattle. Is that where we are? Good to be back. Hope you're doing well. Doing well, brother. Doing well. Or sister, of course, right? I've uh, uh, been taking care of some stuff. I we did another comic. Uh, I got my hands on some comic books. Uh, one of the people on chat here, uh, Nicholas, sent some funds over for me to buy some comic books. So over a couple of week period, I bought some comic books and I grabbed the last lot uh, from the guy yesterday. But I won't be able to make that video until next week. So next week, in about, I don't know, a week or 10 days, the odds are we're gonna, there will be a comic book haul video loaded up, as well as possibly reading one of the comic books or flipping to, through two or three of them. There's some, we found, we got some stuff on, you know, what they're going for, uh, right? even value basically it wasn't a great deal we didn't we didn't pay too much but it's just fair value right we got some stuff on pretty good deal and we got some books that are on amazing deals like crazy deals right so and they're they're fantastic golden age books actually um, but so next week we'll do i'm doing well so long story short i've got some comic books yesterday so i'm doing well right what's up chicho how's it going riot i'm doing well it is I may get on the tractor today to work on the uh, ball fields. What are ball fields on the tractor? Is it uh, golfing? What are ball fields, Anna? Bram is a block. How are you doing? Welcome to a stream and chat, of course. Casey, how's it going? <laughs> how's life? Ah, oh, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub, Pork. Appreciate it. Appreciate it appreciate it i should have brought some of the comic books here just to show you but uh, better not i gotta show it in a video format uh and i gotta do some research into the books uh, there's a reason why i bought some of the books um but i want to dig up a little bit more uh some of the creators and some of the other people and put them into context chicho you doing uh you going to make some borscht soon <laughs> just were you the one that commented uh, on youtube regarding borscht uh if you guys want it is winter it is borscht season so uh just tea uh if uh, 
how about sending me a reminder let's say today we're at the end of february march send me a reminder by the if you haven't seen one come up a cooking stream come up send your send me a reminder by the end of march if we haven't done a cooking stream by then and if if we have hopefully i'll remember to do a borscht cooking stream so if you haven't seen a borscht cooking stream come on by the end of march send me a reminder and uh, i'll go to some farmers markets and grab the ingredients we need and grab uh, grab the meat that we need and we'll make borscht borscht cooking stream that'll be fun uh, 13 sub points oh we're 13 now nice nice me and Casey uh, by the way we we're talking earlier because uh, twitch sent out a little message uh, just to affiliates saying that now we get more emotes I think five percent I can't remember what it is right uh, so this morning we were at 12 sub points now we're at 13 sub points and I think we'll free up an emote at 15 and then 25 I believe so anyway um, but Casey's taking care of the the emotes that we're getting to use on Twitch so thank you very much Casey for uh, making some emotes for us baseball fields I have an uh, I have an attachment to remove the weeds since we can't use weed killer toxic yeah weed killer oh Monsanto nastiness so it's a baseball field removing the weeds from baseball oh my god that must be so much work Anna your sleepy waves how are you doing gentle chaos gaming welcome welcome Cadarax gox <laughs> yes okay that's regarding the borscht yeah that's right one more soon one more emote soon nice 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 casey's itching to i think create more emotes for us so we're looking for 15 subs and then 25 i don't know why they don't give one emote per sub or more emotes per sub they should just have a lot of people to have emotes i take care of it it's really fun i make circles and listen to chicho <laughs> nice <laughs> so, circles on the tractor nice so you go around and around and around grabbing it that's cool man that's cool Anna do you guys turn over are you turning over the grass so the roots of the weeds die I don't think so that would be killing the grass so you gotta just pull them out and keep the grass intact I love the stream from last week you uploaded on uh, your YouTube um, oh was that the a generational uh, transfer of wealth that one I think that conversation came out really good initially I wasn't going to load it on YouTube but I think I didn't rewatch it I'm just going by how the stream went as we were streaming right um, and a couple of people commented that it was it came out well so I decided to load it on YouTube I decided to load it on YouTube when we started talking about it and how it was going uh, so I'm glad I did I'm glad I did it was some it was important it's important to know that stuff that was a great one awesome awesome it's a uh, Kubota Kubota look up Kubota tractor when you're offline okay Kubota tractor I gotta where's my notepad oh, I didn't bring my notepad did I bring my notepad oh I didn't bring my notepad here with me I gotta remember to look this up yes turning all over it it's all dirt so it's mostly we oh so it's not a grass field okay cool 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 yeah from what i understand after i did a uh put together uh the series that we did for math in real life no grass okay when we did the series for math in real life when we did the mathematics of food and farming when i was talking with my friends who have a farm who have a csa and stuff uh, I, I learned a lot from just talking with them doing research and I found out where they have tractors that do a roll. It's really cool, actually. You watch it; it's very hypnotic. Where it just goes at the bottom. Uh, I forget what it is, like six inch inches below the topsoil or below the surface, and then it rolls so it flips over uh, the bed, the soil, and it exposes the roots. So in the off season the the sunshine torches kills the roots of the weeds so you, you control the weeds that way 
for the kiddos i coach i don't get paid the whole league is 100 percent volunteer awesome that's the way it should be for sports anyway i think the whole professionalization of sports is uh it hasn't been good for our society not by a long shot um it's it's been hijacked sports have been hijacked and stuff so i like the amateur aspect of things uh chicho do you play any instruments like guitar or piano i like piano a lot check out jordan rudis from the band dream theater yeah i used to listen to dream theater a lot amassing stuff truly uh truly phenomenal yeah dream dream theater is amazing as far as uh, instruments go i used to play the drums i took piano when i was a kid for a year and the deal i had with my parents i wanted to play drums <laughs> this is here i'll give you i'll give you an example uh, a story about how stubborn chicho is right um when i was a kid when i was in high school my parents turned to us uh, to my to me and my siblings and said you guys have to learn an instrument you have to play an instrument right and i said i want to play drums and they said there's no way we're getting a drum set here for you to go crazy on right because i got a fairly high energy right and i said no i'm not going to play an instrument you guys said an instrument i picked drums and they said they made a deal with me i was in i don't know what grade i was in mid high school let's say early high school and uh, they cut a deal with me they said okay go to piano for a year okay study piano for a year and at the end of that year if you want to still play drums we'll get you a drum set and a teacher and there's nothing wrong with learning piano right i went okay done so i went to piano for a year right i started off like the next day or a couple of days later because some of my other siblings were taking piano lessons right so they called up the piano teacher got me an appointment so i went to piano a year later my la my at the time last uh lesson with a piano teacher so my piano teacher gives me my lesson i do my lesson blah 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 so the piano teacher says okay i'll see you next week i go um thank you very much uh uh mrs whatever her name was uh but i won't be here next week uh, i'm done with piano <laughs> she was like what she goes i said yeah i'm done with piano i had a deal with my parents a year of piano and then i could start playing drums so i said bye to her thank you very much i was very kind right and i wouldn't you know mother was picking me up i sat in the car my mom goes out i go i went oh, great she goes okay you got an appointment next week I go, well i canceled it she goes what i said we had a deal one year of piano at the end of that year really i took it to the day right after one year i get my drums and she looked at me but 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 i said there is no buts we made a deal and within the week i had found a teacher drum teacher within a couple of weeks anyway and we went and rented a drum set and i played drums my first song i learned how to play was uh, sunday bloody sunday by u2 and then i learned uh, wrapped around your fingers by the police and i learned some van halen brian adams at the time they were going around and i learned the pride by u2 and stuff like this and i tried to learn tom sawyer by rush but i couldn't do it uh, too complicated for me I'm gonna catch up with chat Eduardo how are you doing I was just watching your how to study playlist and then check the discord to see if there was gonna be a live what a live awesome <laughs> that are those how to how to study playlists are good I got a few more lined up to do I gotta get to those Chicho can you talk about what's happening in Venezuela sure sleepy let me get caught up with chat a little bit uh, our goes if I if I go off on tangents sleepy remind me and we do okay our goes between uh, two to four inches deep oh your blade when you're plowing for two to four inches deep with a blade i agree 100 percent youth sports have been hijacked with select uh select ball teams cost between per player it's a shame really what hijacked with select ball teams cost between two to four thousand dollars per player it's a shame it also forces other kids out of the sport but little league what i do accepts all kids uh, and we offer scholarship to all who can afford it cannot afford it awesome Hannah. that's fantastic yeah i 
I, what really uh, opened my eyes regarding professional sports was David Zern. I think the book was called Beyond Thunderdome. Uh, and watching interviews with him and reading excerpts of the book and articles by him. And, and before that was basically, uh, I was really into soccer. I've been to the World Cup and have recorded a lot of World Cup games and stuff. But years ago, I just stopped following professional sports in a big way. I'm horrified that it might break into civil war. Yeah, um, Venezuela. Okay, we talked. I did the same thing, but my parents were split up. So my dad loved the idea of drums in the house. Nice. My mom, not so much. And anger. <laughs> nice. Yeah, for me, man, I used to play really hard, hard. Like, hands would bleed. I would play on the weekends, eight, eight hours, ten hours by myself headphones i'd be doing patterns trying to learn i wasn't natural but i played up i tried man i tried russia is awesome just t rush is awesome 100 percent. by the way my pomegranate liqueur is ready <laughs> and it tastes phenomenal and this is the last of the strawberry liqueur strawberries in the liqueur we're gonna finish it off today mm -hmm. with ice for me uh, I would say the ratio of drinking my liqueurs about 60% is with ice and about 40% without ice the sharp ones the well, no, it varies actually. 60 40, 60%, 70% sometimes with ice. I love it with ice. It's so refreshing, as you say, Casey. And as, and as Riot pointed out, it's dangerous because take away, pop the strawberry. The strawberry oh sorry the pomegranate seeds strong gentle chaos gaming i'm trying to place your age based on the songs that you said you'll learn on your drums 54 close 50 50 and by the way sunday bloody sunday what a phenomenal song to play on the drums and what a phenomenal song to learn as your first song when you're learning how to play drums i knew that thing to every beat bah, 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 and i was very good at it we actually played sunday bloody sunday at a couple of events and other musicians were coming up to us and saying wow that was the best u2 cover they'd ever heard really the singer we had was doing bono very well how oh, i had the drums was exactly the way it was supposed to be right i learned it from notes uh, so it was good 50 such a golden age congrats to reach that uh age so healthy she show thanks sleepy i you know i lucked out uh really uh, luck of the draw man luck of the draw smells like teen spirit is usually what guitar stand uh, students learn teen spirit i don't know teens smells like teen spirit is usually what guitar students learn i don't know that i don't know that um venezuela okay where are we in regards to venezuela what we can talk about it nirvana i you know what i never got into nirvana um i found it really depressing and i'm not um i i'm not a i don't nav i don't get drawn towards very depressing music so radiohead and nirvana i never really got into i appreciated it but i didn't get into them 
for me, I'm more metal. I'm more, whew, uh, if I feel low, I go hard to bring myself back up. When I feel low, I don't get attached to low music. Um, that being said, I love depressing movies. Depressing movies make me happy because they make me appreciate my life more. Weird. King, how are you doing? Good afternoon, Chicho. Had a few beers. Just got back from baseball. No, football. Not baseball. Football. Nice. Awesome, man. Hope you had some good exercise. It is. Ta -ta. Uh, tool. Tool. 100%. A tool I don't find depressing. I went to Tool once. I saw Tool live. Highly recommend watching Tool live. Uh, Lateralis and I haven't listened to Tool. I haven't looped Tool for a while, but I love Tool. One of the first edit videos I ever edited with music, I took a a chunk of music from Tool and a chunk of music from <laughs> System of a Down, and it was just for fun with a friend uh, because I was trying to learn how to edit. That video took me three days full on working on it and learning how to edit on a crappy laptop to learn how to edit. I spent three days, basically 10 to 12 hours a day, learning, reading, watching videos and stuff like this. And that video is called uh, Leprechaun. I forget what it is. Uh, I w my friend would dress up as a leprechaun on St. Patrick's Day and we'd go out for a few years. And one year I followed him around with a video camera. Um, and I shot video and I edited it and I used a little bit of tool at the beginning of that thing. And it's, it is what it is, that video. It was me practicing how to edit. Luck of the draw. Come on, Chicho. Lie. Live slow. Die old. <laughs> Live slow. Die old. Uh, I, I am a full believer <laughs> in that philosophy <laughs> now on. Go slow uh die old healthy hopefully right in my youth not so much oh yeah some of the first songs i learned were, uh, were sab sabbath yes check out a little bit of uh the start of the song chicho oh i can't click on it uh I, I remember last time casey i was clicking on videos and the stream got cut off so i don't want to risk that okay so I'm not going to click on open any other windows uh, for this stream. Even though I'm hard, I'm not uh, wireless right now. The other stream were wireless. I'm hardwired in right now to the internet. Yeah, true depressing movies make me happy. Yeah, me too, Hima. Uh, me too. Tool, love Tool. Amazing live. Yeah, amazing live and their albums are amazing. Watching, not playing. Leeds United. Leeds United. Oh, you were watching Leeds United. You went to Leeds United game. Crazy. High energy, man. I used to watch uh, uh, Premier League, uh, the UK. I used to watch ser series, series L or whatever, the first series in Italy and the Premier League in UK uh, back in the day when I was in university. Uh, new album, new album from Tool soon. Wow, wow, wow. Tools, Tools music videos for the song The Pot is probably the most trippiest video ever. I don't know. I must have seen the video for it. I know this. I know the song The Pot. Fantastic music, man. Very layered. I would love at some point we'll do a mathematics ASMR math video on the mathematics of Tools music. I've looked into this before. They really incorporate a lot of mathematics into their music. A very layered canon. No, you were about to start talking about that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Sleepy, let's do. Teacher, remind me of Frank Zappa. Frank Zappa rocks. Uh, hey, dude. Uh, what's good fam? What's good fam? I don't know. What about Gypsy Kings? Any favorite songs? I listened to Gypsy Kings when they first came out. Uh, everybody did. It was a serious wave. Gypsy Kings. Um, I don't know any other songs. I, I would recognize it if it first note hit, but I don't know the names. Minard uh, Keenan is very clever. I love his work with Perfect Circle and 
uh, Pussifier. I don't know Pussifier, but I know Perfect Circle. Yes, go to every game. We are no longer in the Premiership one. Oh, you're not in the Premiership anymore. Unfortunately, we are the league below uh, championship, but in a good position for promotion. So uh, hopefully back in the Premier next season. Cool. So you must be in the top two. All right. Okay, gang. Venezuela? Venezuela. Sleepy. Where should we start with Venezuela? Are we going to start with the Bolivarian Revolution? Are we going to start with uh, Chile? 1973, 9-11, I think it was 1973, 9-11, September 11th, when the coup happened, we'll finish it. Uh, are we going to talk about the torture programs that were running in South and Central America by the CIA through puppet regimes uh, that really kept South and Central America in the, sh in the shitter for a number of decades and the first wave of the Bolivarian Revolution where people just... South America and sort of went you know what we've had enough enough people have disappeared where we want control over our own rise and our own resources where the revolution started taking place and the left if we let's call it the left started take, getting a foothold in South and Central America are we talking about going to talk about the coup that the CIA conducted in 2002 to get rid of Chavez which they did but then people found out about it and it was a huge uprising in Venezuela and Chavez was brought, brought in. Or we're talking, I'm going to talk about the sanctions. Or we're going to talk about how the Panama Canal, China is already uh, made a deal to build another canal paralleling the Panama Canal to give a uh, way for ships to go from one side to the other side, right? So they don't have to go all the way around South America or have to go through the Panama Canal, which is controlled by the United States, where the United States basically invaded Panama uh, through Bush Sr. Because in 1999, the Panama Canal was going to be handed over to Panamanian government. So they created an excuse that Noriega was a drug dealer, which he was, which is CIA's drug dealer. So they made an excuse to invade Panama, right? Because to go get Noriega and kill few thousand people and took control of the government and hence maintain control of the Panama Canal because they didn't want to give that up right where should we start the discussion on Venezuela because there's absolutely no way we're gonna start the discussion on Venezuela based on the last few months because that situation did not start from the last few months with sanctions and blockades and different factions fighting each other with war about to break out with china and russia backing the venezuelan government and the western puppet governments coming out and recognizing some random person as the president of united president of venezuela and 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 uh, holding at ransom venezuela's gold venezuelan companies oil and anything else venezuelan funds and banks and saying that this random person that they picked has control of the funds of venezuela where should we start where should we start i want to catch up with chat again hopefully that was a good intro yes go to every pa 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 there are his side projects for tour cool so there's another Tool album coming out. Shit's about to get real, kids. Watch the master work. <laughs> Chicho, you should talk about the Rothschilds, etc. I believe that more people should be aware of this issue. I think most people are uh, just I think most people know about the Rothschilds. I don't I haven't really in the last couple of decades. I don't think I've ever come across anyone that doesn't know about the Rothschilds or some of the other uh legacy families and dynasties that control much of the wealth in the world right that uh, control governments and bring about laws to support their own corporations and their own coffers i i don't think i don't think there is there isn't too many people in my circle anyway that don't know about the 
the dynasties, the families that rule over us, right? The question is, what is the, the alternative to uh, consuming, to living our lives, right? What is the alternative way that we can walk about this earth without consuming their products, right? So food-wise, we can do locally. Education-wise, we can educate our own kids, our own families. We can create some kind of support systems within our communities, right? When it comes to the internet, the internet was came out of the military, right? But right now, a lot of the platforms are controlled by these dynasties. We're on Twitch right now, Amazon. If people think Jeff Bezos controls all of Amazon, they really don't know how things work. Jeff Bezos, sure, he was chosen to lead the way to, to manage Amazon, right? He is extremely rich, given that. He has a tremendous amount of power. But he is not really, uh, if he steps out of line, it, it is quite easy to remove him, okay? And that has been done with many people. So we're on a platform that is controlled so how do we go about uh, having platforms where we can ha have open discussion without certain creators being deplatformed right we can start anywhere from u.s intervention in latin america in the 70s or 80s okay cool so we started sort of talking about that uh, uh sleepy waves so basically name of the game is uh like a lot of people think the the name uh, and this goes pre uh, 1970s right uh, there's a term that used to go around called the banana wars or banana republic banana republic right i think that was a term and people if you if we look at certain words certain terminology used throughout history they have a beginning right so a banana republic which is basically a republic i believe so anyway if i remember correctly which is basically a republic, a country controlled by an outside force. The origin of that is basically Chiquita Bananas, where I believe it was Uruguay or uh, was it Uruguay? Someone might correct uh, correct me on this uh, if I'm wrong. Uruguay or uh, Honduras? Honduras or Uruguay, I believe, but I think it was Uruguay, where they were producing a lot of bananas and uh, U.S. corporation was controlling that. And then the government came about, uh, said that, okay we want to keep more of the resources and get more money from our resources being exploited bezos had stripper accounts had stripper counseling <laughs> so they came out the government during that period i think this was in the 1950s right they came out and said okay we're going to charge i believe it was a penny more or two cents more i think it was honduras okay honduras I believe that was in Central America. Okay, thanks, Sleepy Waves. So the country of Honduras came out and said, okay, we want to control, you know, we need a little bit more money coming into the government from this American company exploiting our resources so that we can at least feed our people, right? Clothe our people. So I believe they introduced a one cent, two cent, or five cent tax per pound, like something ridiculously low, right? The American corporation didn't like those extra taxes that the government had put on them so they got the cia to overthrow that government wage a war same thing they did with multiple countries in south and central america and they got rid of their government they they put their own puppet power puppet government in power and they control the resources no taxes or the same taxes that were or lower right and death squads everywhere right and the death squads in south and central america Many of the war criminals in South and Central America, and there's thousands of them, okay, they were all trained in the School of the Americas in the United States, on the continent of the United States. I forget what states it's in. The name has changed, but all you got to do is do a little search on School of the Americas, and you'll get a nice little history of who has who the United States military trained to become war criminals in charge of death squads in south and central america to go around killing any opposition leaders to the corporate war machine 
And by the way, this isn't just me or Joe Blow or bloggers or v vloggers or conspiracy theorists or alternative media that is saying this is exactly the history of the United States with South and Central America. This is words taken out of General Smedley Butler, okay, the most decorated Marine in US history, a general in the United States Marines, the most decorated Marine in US history for 100 plus years, right, or at least 70 years even after his death or 50 years after his death, he still retained the title of the most decorated Marine in US history, wrote a book called War is a Rocket. It's a small book available for free online. And he says he was an enforcer for the United States military to overthrow governments for American corporations. This is fact, undisputed, okay? So if anybody starts talking about the United States or the Western governments, Canada, Europe, and stuff like this, that are interested in helping the citizens of any other country, specifically in South and Central America or anywhere else in the world, if they believe the BS that they're there to help people, <laughs> the, our centralized education system has done a phenomenal job in brainwashing them and indoctrinating them into the war machine, okay? And all you have to do to open their eyes, well, one of the things you can do to open their eyes is either buy War is a Racket or download War is a Racket or get into a little heated discussion with them, uh, civilized heated discussion. I don't like using the word civilized, but, and sit them down behind a computer, open up the page, War is a Racket, and make sure they read that book. And after they read it, if they want to continue their conversation, defense of what's taking place, what the Western governments are doing, then you can reference every point made in that book and dig down a little bit more. Okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. What do you do for a living? I I make these videos. I do live streams. I upload videos on YouTube. I'm building my own curriculum on YouTube. I teach a little bit of mathematics. Okay. I'm building my own math curriculum on YouTube. I'm teaching a little bit of mathematics. And because I'm starting, uh, I'm going to seriously try to delve into this full time. I'm going to slowly start liquidating some of my comic book collection to get enough funds coming in so I can maintain my life, pay my bills, and continue to create content and have these discussions. So what I do is live. What I do is live my life as peacefully as I can. In Argentina, there were 30,000 missing from 1970s. Yeah, at least 30,000 missing from the 1970s, at least, okay. Inside every cynical person, there is a disappointed idealist, George Carlin. I'm a firm believer that humanity is done. These uh, families that are in charge have created religion to control people. Yeah, organized, centralized religion is a trap. I agree with you, Justy, 100%. It's a trap. Spirituality? Not. Right? Get to know thyself. Understand that you are not just this body right this matter right this we're not just this matter thing there's more to existence than what is dictated through centralized power yeah right <laughs> some serious business right some serious business just wait a little bit not even cool this is why i hate when people say the u.s is the greatest force of good the world has ever seen um, as far as i know the only people that say that are neocons interventionists and warmongers lots of traps in society these days eh? yeah big time riot i agree there are a lot of traps in society a lot of traps in society and these are traps put in place by 
centralized power may it be centralized government centralized education system centralized corporations or whatever monopolies whatever it might be and we all to a certain degree stumble upon them i've fallen to these traps i have right i might be in one right now that i don't know it's after the fact that you realize oh man what a fool i was and whenever you have those moments really whenever I have you whenever you have moments where you say what a fool i was what an idiot i was what a mistake i made those are some of the most brilliant moments in your life appreciate them learn from them grow with them okay really i've never met an extremely wise person an extremely worldly person someone who understands what is going on that hasn't have or doesn't have regrets right if you don't have any regrets in your life man i, I hope your bubble protects you really we are energy i agree do you think anything will be uh disruptive enough to uh to capitalism to break the system capitalism is breaking capitalism capitalism doesn't exist uh, the essential capitalism we have monopoly corporatism technocracy uh, our present system is anything but capitalist uh, and just like uh, USSR was anything but communist right not anything but had some tendencies towards it but it wasn't right now our western western system is a bureaucracy filled with booby traps to zap you just try to get anything done like for example one of the reasons housing costs so much right now is because there's so many rules so many so much paperwork so many things that have to be approved and inspected and all this that has increased the cost of housing like tripled it quadrupled it right it's crazy we have a lot of possible disruptions coming up and rethinking of how we do things but i don't know if they just end up empowering the people in power even more uh, the thing with the people in power they're cannibalistic they're consuming themselves they're like a virus right in the end they're going to try to consume everything but they're going to burn out right they can't what central power needs is for everyone to buy into their system as soon as you don't participate in their system they have no power over you as soon as you start feeding the central power false data it loses power it loses trust right so and we're in the beginning stages of that Chicho, do you plan on doing another live on entheogens? Uh, we will, Eduardo, at some point. I'm really tiptoeing myself into uh, the entheogen stuff. I might, Eduardo, just to let you know, I might start making a video series on entheogens and just loading those on BitChute, okay? Not uh, YouTube. And if I start doing that on entheogens, start making videos edited videos and stuff like this what we might start doing is doing live streams based on some of the information i talk about in the video that i upload um, i wish i didn't need to go this slow but for me it's still extremely important to create the math content and i want to make sure we don't get deplatformed off any of these platforms that we're on right now because as soon as that happens the disruptive innovation is not in place right now for us to be able to share information as widely as we do okay through other platforms it's getting there it will get there but right now i'm firing on full cylinders i'm working at 100 percent capacity so i don't have the means of finances and uh, the time right now to be able to put all the other platforms roll them all out i gotta do this slowly uh, so my apologies if that stuff is going slow eduardo but we will we will i promise okay 
Religion is a, uh, is a fear and guilt-based control matrix to destroy true faith. Uh, 100% agree. I once had a philosophy class where this woman said that it's okay that the U.S. tortures people because they do it in Cuba. <laughs> not, the, not, uh, not the Constitution of the United States. Philosophy class choked me with what people believe. Yeah, I tried having discussions with some people who've been educated, indoctrinated through our centralized education system regarding morality, philosophy, politics, economics. It's like talking to, uh, unless they've questioned the system, it's like talking to people that are... <laughs> that have a few marbles missing, right? Oh, but they've been hit on the side of the head with a two by four way too often, right? They're not all there. It takes a lot of effort to put them all there. Do you have any books you recommend to learn more about the history of Latin America? Oh man. Um, Tariq Ali. Tariq Ali is one person you want to look into. Uh, where is the book? Gore Vidal is another one. Where are my Tariq Ali books? Tariq Ali. Chomsky. I mean, jeez. Here, Chomsky is one. Okay. So, Chomsky, I've read parts of this. I've read a lot of Chomsky essays and lectures. So, look into Noam Chomsky, this, this person right here. Noam Chomsky. He knows his Latin American history, South and Central American history. One of the top five people in regards to Latin American history or American history, Americas, uh, North America, South America, Central America. Okay. Um, Gore Vidal is another one. This one, uh, this person here, Gore Vidal, but he mainly writes about American history. So perpetual war, perpetual peace is about um, the Oklahoma City bombing, about Timothy McVeigh. Um, it's not really about Latin America, but it is an important read and he has other pieces that I believe talks about Latin America and the other person is let me write down the name Tariq Ali Tariq Ali I think that's the way you uh, you write his name look into their work okay I wish I could see my Tariq Ali book it might be in a box somewhere uh, that I haven't opened yet and I have other books and other boxes that I haven't opened yet <laughs> America's deadliest export is democracy. There's a book on democracy in quotation marks. It's not democracy. Let's clarify that. It's it's anything but democracy. There's a book on it written by William Bum. And by the way, uh, the other one is Howard Zinn. Howard Zinn, you want to look into? Oh my God, I almost forgot. Howard Zinn, this person, Howard Zinn, oh, really huge, huge. Okay, he had the ambition of becoming a foreign service officer too as he explained take part in the great anti-communist crusade blum became dis uh, delusion uh, disillusioned by the vietnam war gulf of tonkin complete lie that took the united states into war and caused millions of deaths of the people of the region right and was persuaded to leave his government post in 1967 you're right i don't mean to to term it capitalism i mean it is there anything that can uh, break the system and you're right literally tons of things people get worked up about are traps uh, is there yeah again a riot we're seeing the breakup of the system right now right it has by all senses right uh, because of the 2008 scam the largest scam in human history it has fallen apart right this current political economic system the chips are falling right how they fall is being decided right now we're going to come out of this in the next five to ten years we're gonna see how the world is going to be playing out how things are going to play out in the next five ten years okay uh, we're in for a lot of changes People need to prepare for that. 
Chicho, I heard once that Einstein stole a lot of Nikola Tesla's patents after JP. Uh, I, uh, I think you mean it wasn't Einstein. It was, uh, uh, what's that? Uh, Edison. Okay, Thomas Edison. I think that's who you mean. JP Morgan through Tesla's discovery uh, of free unlimited elec uh, electricity in the air so that the banks and uh, these families could make money off of making people pay for electricity. Yes, Tesla had tremendous amount of vision and he was a complete, as far as I can tell, human humanitarian, right? He wanted his inventions to improve the lives of humanity, right? And he didn't care about the wealth the way the bankers and um, Edison did. So I believe just to you mean Edison stole a lot of Nikola Tesla's patents as well as JP Morgan with the help of JP Morgan. Okay. Hope you peeked at the neural network, but I did. I looked at the first one. Uh, the guy's very good at teaching his subject. I, I watched the first one riot. I didn't watch the rest where he's going to build up. I like the, the way he presented the data with the girl measuring the flowers, um, the petals and the flower, and there was one missing. So he had to graph it and put the cluster, put that data point there, and assume it belonged to that cluster 100%. Uh, thank you for linking that, by the way. Uh, according to in Indian Vedic philosophy, we are currently in the fourth and final yoga cycle which is the darkest age for man, uh, manking, which lasts about 432,000 years. I hope we are on the last years, <laughs> 432,000 years. I hope we're on the last years as well. I really don't wanna, uh, Robert Anton Wilson has mentioned that we're just coming out of the dark ages. And I agree with him. We're just coming out of the dark ages. The legalization or end of prohibition of psychedelics is a huge part of that okay i think the biggest trap is uh consumerism um i agree consumerism not just material things but also entertainment music uh, the entertainment industry as well as just material possessions don't worry about it take your time okay awesome eduardo thank you the competitive uh competitive consumerism even yeah the novelty novel 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 here's here's a phone oh we put out a new one it's just like the old one it just costs you more and it gives the makers of the phones more power why don't you buy it what <laughs> how do you spell that um which one sleepy waves god we go good evening in sweden ah good evening good evening sweden i'm liking the discussion interesting as always hope you're doing good my friend doing well mickey thank you very much welcome to another stream chomsky is bae i don't know what bae stands for hopefully he's not bae system selling weapons Tarek Ali is uncle larry chomsky said there is a there's hardly a U.S. president that is exempt from war crimes. I don't know of any. And by the way, Howard Zinn has written a book series. I haven't read it, but the history of the United States, the true history of the United States. Anyway, look into Howard Zinn and history of the United States. Uh, I forget who it was that wanted to uh, the uh, book to read. Uh, I think his book, oh, People's History of the United States. That's what it's called. Thank you, Riot that book is uh, i don't know if it's one book or multiple books but just reading some of the articles zinn has written and watching his lectures uh, that must be mandatory reading oops i can't believe that it's not being taught uh, in curriculums in schools okay howard uh, zinn's book is about latin america awesome probably one of the biggest eye openers I felt like elementary school was basically story time. Nice. I agree that the time frame for radical changes is very short. Will Donald Trump create more boom or economic bust in the next years and why? Uh, Hannah, uh, the United States is a war-based economy, okay? And 
Donald Trump, it's not Donald Trump, but the regime that the Donald Trump is being put as the representative, the face, is planning more wars. So uh, if a war, if a country is a war based economy, then their product that they're selling is war. So and they're promoting more war. I'm hoping we don't have more war. But if we have more war, the United States economy will do better. Okay, just just the same way that it happened in 2003, right? And 2001. And during the late two, uh, 2000s and early 2010s with Obama, right? They waged more war to maintain the US economy. Unfortunately for humanity, each war has to be heavier and more intense than the previous war because this whole economy is a bubble, right? So it needs a bigger war to maintain the bubble. If we go bigger than Syria and Iraq, we're in really big trouble. Chicho is a communist? No, Chicho is, doesn't belong to any isms or is. Eduardo, thank you very much for the sub. And the new phone will only cost you 50 hours of your life in exchange. Sure sounds an expensive phone. <laughs> Doop. Nice. It's always a good day when Robert Anton Wilson's name is spoken. It is. I love Robert Anton Wilson. This is a must read. Wilhelm Wright. Okay, this is a must read book. I've shown this book before, right? Uh, Wilhelm Wright can help. Okay. And this book is basically about the crucifixion crucif crucifying how the united states crucified basically wilhelm reich okay and i always associate this book to wilhelm reich's book called the murder of christ where basically the centralized powers if they fear anything they kill it right and basically the whole philosophy is centralized power were did not like what jesus christ had to say so they crucified him and we have crucified countless peoples throughout human history for things we feared okay hello double Elvis. how are you doing yeah it's not donald trump it's the companies and countries behind donald trump ba -ba -ba -ba. early chore warning okay thanks casey thank you for taking care of it right yeah imagine why they want to go to war now with iran and most americans i know are like why are we going to war uh we got enough issues with our own cost of living you're right american capitalism bursting at the seams yeah what war is the u.s in currently uh what wars is the u.s in currently uh syria iraq yemen uh, Libya they're still operative in Afghanistan uh, in Africa they're operating in multiple countries right covertly uh, Venezuela for sure in South America in Central America you're seeing a lot of activists being assassinated right they're being assassinated by people that were trained by the CIA or the regimes that were put in place in Mexico a lot of uh, journalists have been executed right or being assassinated that has a lot to do thanks in large part to the united states all people have to do is look into fast and furious where the united states during the obama regime was sending weapons to mexico automatic weapons to mexico to the drug lords right really they were sending weapons allowing weapons automatic weapons to be crossing the border into Mexico to be given to the drug lords. Why? Right? So many wars. The United States is at war with Iran. They've been at war with Iran for a number of decades now. During the Bush administration, I'm being up. Speedy Gonzalez, Hannah. So apologies about the tone that I'm using. I'm trying to make sure I, I, I go as rapidly as possible to a certain degree, right? Just dropping seeds but during the bush administration the united states approved hundreds of millions of dollars to overthrow the u.s uh, the iranian government 
the United States and Israel started assassinating Iranian scientists. Just imagine if another country came into our country in Canada or the United States and started assassinating our top scientists. What? Let that sink in. Another country was assassinating Iranian scientists. Wow. Speaking of crucifixion, I wonder how Snowden's doing. I think I, I think Snowden's doing way better than Assange. Assange is the is the murder of Christ, right? Assange is being crucified, and if you if you read your history and you know biblical history and stuff like this, Roman history, you say, oh, how could people stand by and watch Jesus Christ be crucified? right oh my god i can't believe people were spitting on him throwing things at him people were laughing at him while he was being crucified right they're crucifying julian assange right now mainstream media silent them right anybody that propagates parrots anything that mainstream media says in person my friends i go pretty hard on them right we're watching the crucifixion of Julian Assange. If you're speaking out against it, you have you're on the right side of history. Okay. Da, da, da. Is the internet breaking their system? Internet has threatened their system. Cracks are emerging. So many people are being killed in Central America, South America. Yeah, U.S. did the same thing as Syria, 100%. If the, the DPRK completely uh, disarms the U.S., we'll go after them. Yeah, the Korea, North Korea. Yeah. Do you think that Russia has less of a reputation for genocide? Example, um, r during communist Russia, after World War II, tens of millions of people were killed okay uh, genocide then the owners of the united states owners do i mean when we look at history it seems that the u.s and nato are the true players i mean as far as organized crime goes is it true that in russia the mafia is almost like silent feelers for the russian empire not to a certain degree yeah i would agree with that and in in terms of who has more blood on their hands for me i live in the western world i live in canada okay i'm beside the united states my say is what my my country does right after world war ii people say world war ii ended in 1944 1945 or whatever right in the eastern bloc the war just began there were millions of people that were killed off in the eastern bloc after that right to centralize the power ussr the central powers went after anyone that disagreed with it right so there was tremendous atrocities committed there for a number of decades right for a long time but that has long gone right now for the last three decades at least three or four decades five decades right the western governments have a tremendous amount of blood on their hands yeah i think north korea is hilarious <laughs> it's like they're hiding from <laughs> our warmongering they're trying to we're flying planes into buildings who the koreans no do not spam a question please chicho is reading down yeah i'm reading uh sorry if i'm way down i'm, I'm gonna try to catch up there's a fact that new new uh primitivism sounds like an oxymoron make it bad alternative to capitalism neo primat i don't know what neo primatism stands for oh casey you're taking care of some serious business thank you for that seriously dante how's it going rambo how's it going welcome welcome i'm scared buddy world war three is coming uh may this year i hope not rambo uh, some people say we're already in world war three it's just uh, uh it's war 
that on a conventional level is ramping up, but it's a war that has rolled into a technological stage, right? There's cyber war, hacking, uh, viruses. Look into what Sputnik's, uh, I believe it was Sputnik's, the virus that the United States and Israel and the UK put together to try to stop the Iranian centrifuges and they sabotage them. And there's a documentary out there. That was equivalent to Hiroshima and Nagasaki, okay, on in terms of cyber war, okay. The devastating power of that virus was unimaginable, okay. So that will be looked upon in history as the equivalent of Hiroshima and Nagasaki and Nagasaki on a technological level in terms of cyber war hello cold hunter i hope i made it early enough to listen to a bit i hope so i think so we're about an hour in everyone has blood on their hands everyone does can you give me shelter in canada no rambo sorry uh, there is no shelter to be had really other than as far as i know iceland just got home it's a cold technical war not just me elvis was giving them a thanking awesome thank you elvis elvis was taking care of some business before too thank you for that gang dante about to sleep but i can chill to some talk about world war <laughs> i hope they don't bring you bad dreams proxy war in the middle east proxy war everywhere russia would win world war three um, i don't think anyone would wear would rambo i don't think anyone will, will win world war three okay everyone will lose but who's going to lose more that's what the discussion is by the powers that be right now who's going to lose more right i personally don't want any part of it they they did stop it it destroyed the centrifuges uh iran axis no they didn't they slowed it down but what they did was made sure that they took measures to prevent such attacks again and they created their own branch of cyber war right and so did many other countries and i can guarantee you the in any cyber war that takes place the west will lose stuck stuck snet okay and there's a documentary on it uh, the reason being is there are way more dedicated people who are doing what they're doing because of ideology in third world countries because they love their country right they have they've given their loyalty all of it to their regimes while people who are doing it here they're doing it for money and when it comes to any type of war if you have mercenaries hired to win the war for you and you're going against nations that are trying to preserve their lives their families their nations the mercenary army as soon as the first cracks take place they're gone okay you're right there is no shelter from what's going on there is no shelter from what's going on what do you think about venezuela rambo we talked about venezuela a little earlier uh, so you can rewatch. you're right there is no shot da, da, da. no it depends on your perspective no he can't can you ask serious questions i think you uh, you want to say can you lend me some money rambo uh, i'm assuming english is not your first language right or you're like really really young so someone should have corrected for this for you rambo if you're in school if you're in like elementary school if you're really young the word is lend borrow means you're borrowing so the question you want to ask me was can you lend me some money uh, no i'm sorry i'm not in the lending business and i don't have any money to lend depends on your perspective do, 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 do. Oh, I forgot what you were talking about 
Um, maybe, maybe. You, you have to ask yourself this, Iran axis, right? I, oh, sorry, iron axis. I read that as Iran, iron axis. Ask yourself this. Compared to when the attack happened on Iran regarding the centrifuges, is Iran more powerful now than it was then, right? The answer is Iran is way more powerful now than when the attacks took place on Iran. So were they successful? Absolutely not if you take power into consideration, okay? Everything that the West has done in the last four decades in regards to Iran has made Iran more powerful. That includes getting Iraq to attack Iran in the 1980s, right? Supporting them, selling them weapons, giving them satellite imagery, uh, everything, right? Everything that the Western governments have done has made Iran more powerful in the last four decades decades five decades okay so no it wasn't a success iron axis rambo ba, ba, ba. yeah the west can't live without technology i watched that documentary that was a great documentary iron axis wasn't it fantastic documentary and that is a very very important documentary i'm german sorry for my poor english no worries rambo how will World War III start, in your opinion? Uh, I don't think we're, we're going to have a conventional war, World War III. If we do, it'll be over in a week, right? You'll see one nuke go off, and then you'll see a couple more, and then and then done. I don't think anyone's stupid enough to do that. I really don't I think we're partially in this war right now and in large part is being fought online what's the best system for us I think it's hilarious we should have countries competing over who makes the most of product X or Y cynical uh, me says that no matter what system we make someone will find a way to exploit it to a certain degree I think the riot the way a better system will come to be if people start giving worth to non-material wealth and not how much money people have in the bank or how many houses they own or what corporations they control but based on their integrity who they are as individuals what they've done in their lives wasn't Iran more powerful during the Shah era? No, Iran was a Shah was a puppet. Iran was a joke. Uh, it wasn't. It was powerful. Don't, don't get me wrong. Iran was powerful. The Shah did some good stuff. They built universities, roads, and he spent way too much money on the military, right? But he was still a puppet, right? As soon as he said the wrong things, and you can look at some of the interviews that the Shah put out when he was a little drunk, with 60 Minutes and some other Western media where he stepped out of line. He forgot that he was a puppet, right? And as soon as that happened, Shah got removed. People forget that the Ayatollah Khomeini, right? Ayatollah Khomeini, that was the head, right? The Donald Trump, the head of the Iranian revolution was living peacefully in france france the western powers had given shelter to ayatollah khomeini right and when the shah started speaking out of line he had to be removed and he was removed and the revolution took place okay do you think uh, do you think chicho that these conspiracy theories regarding aliens a flat earth the flat earth is is bs uh, just to is just a distraction method to persuade people away from touchy topics regarding the uh, business world in large part yes uh, I think that when it comes to YouTube these channels like anonymous for example are sellouts 
uh, we don't know who anonymous is the channels anyway i don't follow them uh, but i look at each individual bit of information coming in not the sources to a certain degree right to a certain degree getting funds to trend trend these non-important things with other things heat up especially during election in large part yes uh, there is more to the aliens stuff uh, than uh, I think there is a certain amount of legit legitimacy there okay so I wouldn't brush it all off but a huge percent of it is noise flat off is just 100% noise uh, but there's a lot of noise. There's a lot of misinformation and disinformation. I don't think Americans will fight. Uh, honestly, what's the point of life? Uh, create creativity, experience. You're here right now occupying this body, right? What do you want to do with it? It's a ride. As Bill Hicks would say, it's a ride. You're on this ride. What do you want to do with this ride? Back. Beck, Mac, Ben Mac, Ben Mac. Honestly, ask yourself, what do you want to do in this life? What do you want to do on this ride? What tools do you need to acquire to be able to do whatever it is you want to do on this ride? Hey, Lassie, what's up? Hello, a man offender. I think the Americans have certain weapon systems to shoot down Russian missiles. I don't think so, Rambo. Okay, you got to consider this. The two, two of the most powerful computers in the world, the first two, the top two most powerful computers in the world are in China. Okay, the United States held that title for a number of decades. They lost in the last 10 years. Okay. United States is falling behind in a big way in regards to technology. Huge. One of the main reasons for that is because they've given monopoly powers to fat corporations that have no incentive, right? They have no disruptive innovation, anything to challenge them to create new technologies and, and improve our lives, all right? Western world is falling behind in regards to technology. That is a fact. Why are, why are you whispering in this area? Why are you whispering? Is this, AS, this is ASMR, Ben Mac. I'm trying to keep it as chill as possible. Pretty intense topics we're talking about, but trying to keep it as chill as possible. Conspiracy theories are a direct result of people struggling to understand how things actually work. They don't understand. The fear unknown, they invent the reality. That's also why religion exists. Casey, to a certain degree, right? They try to come up with reasons why things are happening, right? And they don't have the tools at the disposal to be able to do it, or they don't have the mathematical understanding to look at the data and realize what's happening, right? However, conspiracies are real. We cannot dismiss everything that is a conspiracy as a conspiracy theory. There are conspiracy facts out there. And that is what people should be focused on, right? So for example, in 1950s, it was a conspiracy theory to think that Muhammad Mozatek, the democratically elected leader of Iran, was overthrown by the CIA. In the 1950s, that was just a conspiracy theory. In the 2000s, the United States came out and apologized for overthrowing Mozatek, okay? The Gulf of Tonkin incident, it was a theory at the time that the United States was lying to get United States to go into war in Vietnam. It came out decades later that the United States lied and they took the American military, America, sacrificed tens of thousands of American lives, hundreds of thousands of American citizens' livelihood, lives, because they were dismembered they lied to get them into war with Vietnam. So we have to separate conspiracy fact from conspiracy theory. And if we're talking about conspiracy facts, then we should talk about the facts. If we're talking about conspiracy theories, we should look at the theories and try to decide for ourselves, do those theories have any valid points to them? 
I don't think World War Three is doable, Rambo. Your voice is so <laughs> thanks, considering the topic we're talking about. Can U.S. shoot down eight thousand nukes coming all at once? Not even close. And it's more. It's there's there's weapons circling in the water. The United States, the Western powers, right now in the oceans that can release automatic automatic that could release their armament accidentally or by press of a button or two buttons as if it's our decision to make it yeah uh let's figure it out i think it's hilarious now that american leaders think they can uh speak as brazenly in public as say we need regime change with iran as if our this is yeah it's cr incredible to me americans use harp technology to destroy russian missiles it's not going to happen rambo going to bed uh have fallen on good night good night dante thanks for popping by brother oh yes harp the american will win yippee <laughs> harp some people say harp is there to control the american citizens if you personally had ten thousand us dollars how would you invest it i would find some amazing deals on golden age comic books whoops and buy them united states is but, but uh, if i was not doing this if i had ten thousand dollars in cash right now like really honestly i would upgrade my laptop i would upgrade my sound system i would upgrade my cameras i would get someone to start working in the background hire someone to start working in the background to start making my website that's what I would do with ten thousand dollars that would get me started right then I would have to have funds coming in and I would take a thousand of that and make some t-shirts that I want to make okay and start selling those to start generating some revenue. so it, for each person is different by the way the most indirect way I would do it if I was into investing into assets I would buy comic books United States being ripped apart right now by the policy makers and money holders yeah and the money holders are the policy makers americans have remedies for cancer and aids but they hide it i'm sure of it uh, the most important thing rambo to remember about your health is not the cure for the disease is the prevention of the disease the biggest cause of cancer is stress not eating healthy not sleeping well uh, and all that jazz right we can all control that within reason if they have it rambo they're not giving it to us americans either we don't run the country anymore no some conspiracies exist for sure conspiracy theories are bandied around by the uneducated and poorly informed casey i agree there's a lot of people peddling a lot of bs regarding conspiracy theories keep in mind casey a lot of the misinformation coming out regarding conspiracy theories is from centralized powers and the term conspiracy theory if i remember correctly was a term that the united states government brought out in the 1960s i believe to dismiss some of the theories going around that time what the u.s government was doing so it's 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 a touchy subject man americans should overthrow the government ah, i don't know rambo uh, where are the real patriots most prefer to be uh, uh finalized by film uh, rambo overthrowing a government is not uh, what are you going to replace it by you shouldn't think about overthrowing the u.s government okay you should think about creating alternative systems within your community to help support your community have a way to do trade within your community to generate revenue within your community to build an economic system that is independent of the centralized powers if you remove the US government right now all of it right it wouldn't be pretty or any Western governments right now it wouldn't be pretty overnight right so what you have to do is create alternatives for people to slowly transition away from these centralized powers that's my take well Rambo we have a lot of people that work 50 to 60 hours two jobs yeah making a living 
and our education system teaches them that what they're supposed to do uh, to be successful it's like being indoctrinated into a modern system of slavery i agree with riot 100 percent. meanwhile the ones transferring money generation money generations to generations control policies to keep them in their place agreed agreed i think chicho that america and its allies are now using computers phones social media apps to harvest every single move every movement every opinion agreed to teach computers how to provide ideas for them uh, for think tanks in terms of business and warfare i think the united states main defense is actually as people agreed uh, people are really goddamn stupid ah, i think people are smart they're just too stressed out too busy to be able to pay attention to the chaos they're involved in right they're surrounded by people are the most dangerous weapon mankind can ever in invent it's also teaching their uh, allies i agree with mob mentality that is one of the most dangerous weapons that we have that centralized powers have the way you can eliminate mob mentality is to really educate people make sure you give them the tools they need to critically think about a situation and slow things down so i think what we need to do is slow things down okay that means do not take on a lot of debt where you have to run around to be able to take service that debt right spend time with family spend time with friends read books go for walks maintain your health it's the lifestyle that needs to change for us to have control back in our lives i'm a patron and i would buy a t-shirt from you brother awesome nikki <laughs> and thank you for being a patron thank you for being a patron very much appreciated by the way subscribe star account just recently got uh approved as well so we're going to have another platform there that's going to be equivalent to a patreon thing going on we're just going to mirror both so you don't have to be on both uh, i'm going to make a video announcement for that um, when i have time probably next week or a couple of weeks okay and set up some stuff in the back end that's not a tag to be proud of rambo patriot nationalism is the last hiding place of hate and the and the uneducated don't the americans see what's going on a majority of people are really stressed out rambo really they don't know they're busy majority of people still think obama was a nice guy what <laughs> yeah american culture in itself is built on stress stress leads to physical issues shortness of breath irrational thinking it really is a racket in the u.s now yeah stress man when people talk to me about their health right i know people who smoke who drink who are trying to eat organic and do yoga and all this jazz to try to maintain their good health first thing i say what are you guys doing first thing you want to do to decrease health is or to improve your health is stop smoking stop drinking and stop doing a lot of the other things that you're doing right like it's weird they're too focused on the micro not the macro agreed right 100 agreed they're not looking at the big picture right they're looking at their every minute every second americans are the ignorant and just watch football a rambo i disagree i disagree it's like saying uh the british are the ignorant because they watch football or italians or the indians because they watch cricket i don't think so there is an, a tremendous number of amazing people living in the united states making huge differences huge right the problem is the money in the system right now and where monopoly power is focused right there are the world <laughs> seriously the world has improved a lot thanks a large part due to many individual americans that have done their part Noam Chomsky, Howard Zinn, they're American. Okay. Uh, Terrence McKenna, Robert Anton Wilson, uh, American, right? I think Robert Anton Wilson is American, Irish blood, but American, right? Have you have you seen uh, have you seen the research that showed uh, farmers? I believe third world uh, farmers were shown to have a statistically higher intelligence after selling their uh, yearly crops and that once their money dwindled away 
that the stress uh, poverty cause lower their uh, capacities um, no I haven't read the read the thing regarding their intelligence I know basically I've read some articles uh, that basically kids are more intelligent before they start school based on their age level than they are after they graduate high school or centralized education system uh, it's about control and the way you can control people is put them under stress which is basically what our education system is and our current political economic system is so i believe it casey i want to smoke weed though chicho in canada it's legal you can do so if you want well no rambo it's not a matter of ignorance as if they're not allowed recreation time what do you think about pessimistic philosophies nihilism cynicism anti uh nat natalism the people in power control our education system they control our prison system our laws we even uh, pri uh privatize prisons so now that we make profit from them agreed agreed right cool caught up in chat Ooh. full on full on I thought we talked about film and comic books a little bit too. We went straight out into politics. Whew. I need a little bit of pomegranates after that one. Doing nothing also makes you guilty. In what regard, Rambo? For example, what does doing nothing mean? What if someone has decided not to become politically or economically active, but all they're doing in a big way, right? All they're doing is improving their health. They're divesting from centralized power, maybe centralized food chain, centralized education system. What if they're just focused on their family? They're doing something, right? They just might not be doing something in regards to uh, changing the centralized power they're doing something personally to change their lives first the point of research was showing how poverty causes stress that holds people in poverty by restricting how they think oh, I agree with that I've read some stuff regarding that Casey now one of the things uh, with poverty that uh, prevents uh, you know puts people under stress and stuff like this is food right when you don't get the right nutrition when you're growing up then you're gonna have some health issues and some of those health issues are related to your central nervous system and the way you process information we need a guy like Martin Luther King uh, where are we uh, I lost it uh, a man who speaks the truth we have many people like that Rambo that speak the truth we have many people like that it's just you won't see it on mainstream corporate controlled media many people are speaking the truth yeah this is my main complaint about the outside world view America as if we're supposed to go and get slaughtered right now by our oligarchs yeah that's not a viable way to do it you can't do that you got to build systems before you can divest from systems that have a their tentacles into every aspect of our society and what is the alternative if we do take it over just show me one american who fights for the good thing what there i just we just rambo we just gave you a whole bunch right bill hicks bill hicks rambo do you know bill hicks b-i-l-l-h-i -L -L that's his first name h-i-c-k-s unfortunately he passed away okay Look into Bill Hicks. He was fighting for the betterment of humanity in the 80s, 90s, okay? Before even I was woke in large part, okay? There are a tremendous number of Americans fighting for the betterment of humanity. Really huge, huge. My God, you can't just generalize like that. That's crazy. It takes all my energy to change one person's mind and get them to see the system to change it on a large scale is not going to happen radically overnight not by a long shot i agree right that's what i'm 
doing as an American perfect. Uh, just to, I get a kick out of advertising and commercials. Chicho, I don't watch TV at all, primarily because of the advertising, like exploiting people, uh, insecurities, creating jealousy and hate so that a majority will look to the military to make them feel better because they can kill people to make them feel better and get away with it. Another thing to notice is the video games that are being produced with military funding. For example, Grand Theft Auto V. They really exploit the world for what it is. Yeah, uh, just to let you know, I knew people. Uh, I was I kn for a while there. I was um, at a circle of uh, people that worked in the gaming industry. Some of them made a deal with the devil, and they took funding from militaries to create games. So you're 100% correct. There are games being created that are funded with the military, just like Hollywood makes a lot of movies that are geared towards creating propaganda and waging war. Mentoring should happen, should perhaps be the main way of teaching children. Agreed. Uh, internship, internship as well. I never learned much in school, but growing up on a farm really did something for real. 100% agree, Nikki. Okay. Uh, mentorship, uh, working, uh, apprenticeship, that should be one of our main education tools. Kids should only have to go to school two to three days a week and then two to three days spend time if they want with their family, their family business if they have one, or companies, people that need help should have kids going there and learning different tools different ways to work and create and and be what can we do should we just wait like she uh, we've talked about a lot of things we can do rambo uh did you know uh she chose something like 75 to 80 percent of news stations in the u.s are one company now yeah, pretty much. I think five companies control 99% of the news, 95% of the news. And that when the company buys out a station, they change it from a local politics. And yeah, I know that, right? Yeah, big time. Uh, Norman Finkelstein, Noam Chomsky, the student activists, 100%. Those are uh, for people who are doing change. And Norm, uh, uh, Norman Finkelstein is amazing. It's amazing. Thank you, Red Van. Uh, da -da -da. Soldiers can sim simply refuse their service the government is powerless if they if the people refuse to obey orders um, good luck with that if you join the military Finkelstein is one of very few American intellectuals and scholars that writes about the plight of the Palestinians while all the other American intellectuals uh, don't dare to say a word and Chomsky has been and was active in almost every civil rights and anti-war movement yeah Finkelstein is phenomenal do you remember that local news video with all the channels saying the same thing? Yeah, I think it was uh, something broadcasting, Sinclair Broadcasting, Casey. Yeah, so that's what's going on in the mainstream media now. All one station, all one voice, yeah. If anyone hasn't seen it, boop. Here's UK. If you uh, criticize Israel, you're anti-Semitic. Uh, according to the government, but I don't think according to the people. Yeah. it's like the movie they live and you put your sunglasses on and see tons of consuming zombies yeah that's a great movie by the way they live that's the age of old excuse they threw child labor outrage incoming <laughs> regarding apprenticeship <laughs> maybe it's part of education and anger that's an interesting idea the working uh the uh, the working earlier in life rather than just stacking school what do you think a society needs to do to prevent uh, that from uh, crossing into child labor I just through education through working with people through community I think it wouldn't be become child labor it's only when you give the power to centralize give control to centralize power where you put value uh, associate worth to profits when you start getting child um, exploitation of child labor to a certain degree because if you have a kid working with you it is still a child working right but you can treat them well you can 
show them what you do you can educate them right so it is a fine line but i think it's doable 100 percent and i'm out of bubble gum <laughs> jay-z <laughs> jay show has been there 20 times so far they live is a great movie amazing movie i love movies made before cgi yeah same they took more time to uh, uh with the dialogue with the script and explaining things and stuff like that i've watched they lived i don't know how many times now four five six times possibly it is hell Z zizik called an american cinematic masterpiece it is it is good evening all hello lord how are you doing do you think chicho that an ex-military workers become high school teachers or professors for a reason i had doop, uh, boom, boom, boom. i had a history teacher once that said he was a communications officer and he gave us strange things to study it was only then i i see the propaganda he was spewing it just makes me wonder yeah the military military intelligence controls huge aspects of western governments and all governments really around the world it's not just the western governments right in terms of film television and education okay thank you for the sub lord thank you for the sub for two months now <laughs> uh, true i'm keeping the chill the topic is hot so i'm keeping the chill discussion the voice chill do you play resident evil 2 remake uh, I haven't Rambo I have the first resident uh, evil I played way way back in the day in the arcades I actually think Carpenter is a hack but for a short time he captured the pop culture of the 80s in a very unique way he did indeed he did indeed I don't know what he's done recently I can't remember uh, he made the thing as well the thing was I believe he made the thing uh, 1980s that was amazing the remake of the black and white uh, I would think uh, just said that those people are just very bought into the system I think my brain is shutting down don't shut down your brain true rise is this you I got to figure out how to get you onto your own platform in the cloud yeah at some point we will at some point we will and then we can let the genie out of the bottle right we can let loose and go crazy <laughs> he made like three good films and 100 dreadful ones oh did he no he hasn't made 100 for sure he hasn't casey they live as one i think uh the thing is another what do you think about the aladdin remake oh god i don't know i haven't seen it is it Disney again? I'm scared. I don't want to watch. <laughs> Do you want to come to Germany? You can give lectures here. I've been to Germany before. Not like Germany. I have relatives in Germany. Um, thank you for the offer, Rambo. But for me, I'm West Coast Canada bound. I'm not into traveling anywhere right now. Really. I'm, I'm operating at full capacity. Love what I'm doing. I have responsibilities and uh, i have no desire to go through any type of security system to travel anywhere i refuse to give up my freedoms on that level escape from new york fantastic love escape from new york it would be interesting in that it's not out yet but the trailer was horrible yeah i wouldn't be into watching it man escape from new york the thing and they live will smith is the genie <laughs> oh no really in aladdin will smith is the genie <laughs> i'll need a drink on that one i think i'll skip it true you can be anything you want to watch it i think anything that would uh, better educate people i would be interested especially if it's a system breaking yeah big trouble in little Ch oh big trouble in little china was fantastic too so four movies carpenter has made which are really good or something was also good okay so we got the thing 
Big Trouble in Little China. Uh, they live and and escape from New York. So that's at least four that he made were phenomenal. Do you have kids? Oh man, I, kids is like I said. I'm functioning full capacity. I got no time um, to raise children. I have no the time or desire to navigate this minefield of society. Uh, Kurt Russell marathon that would be amazing to do man Halloween was his best I think Halloween was good too so that's five we got that's five yeah and they made him blue <laughs> Will Smith rest in peace child <laughs> Robin Williams was good in the movie Aladdin uh I know it was Disney, but Robin Williams did a good job. What do you think about the vaping? Are you are you on Twitter? I am on Twitter. Just do Chicho Twitter, you'll find me. And vaping, good idea. Save your lungs. Save your lungs. How do you feel about school and jobs? Oh wow, uh, school I've talked to a lot about. Uh, school, our current centralized education system is indoctrination. So if you have kids raising kids, you have to make sure you're educating them outside of the centralized education. You can send them to a centralized education system for there to for them to socialize at a good school or whatnot, right? But keep a close eye on that. They might come across administrations, teachers, other students that might be giving them trouble. So you got to be very active with that, right? But you also have to educate kids outside of your centralized education system. Otherwise you're going to be paying the price down the road okay have you ever heard of a guy called stephen og i've seen og before ogg he's always on every rock star generated video game why do i know the og ogg name from makes me wonder if he was a mercenary once and now he's taking part in the video game industry in red dead redemption that's a great game by the way it looks amazing right uh there's actually a town that's called blackwater oh really after the blackwater thing and for oh yeah there is actually i've seen someone play it and for you folks that never heard of blackwater they were and still are a mercenary agency for the cia yeah they go by academia or ac ac academy or something now jesus yeah and DeVos uh, is the last name of the guy, I believe, and is the brother of the, check this out, is the brother, uh, the person running Blackwater is the brother of the person that's in charge of the U.S. central education system. I think I need to pop on Escape from L.A. Uh, after this. That's a great movie, really. I think I need that, too. Or maybe a Van Damme marathon van damme has got some good movies too twitter oh nice casey awesome that's my twitter account do you have a video explaining asmr so i can turn it into a command for nightbot oh i don't actually that's a good idea casey um might uh, you know what i think my trig video my introduction to trigonometry was i give a little explanation there but i haven't watched that video for a while um, but that might give a little explanation but you know what i if i remember if you drop me a note maybe i'll put together a video explaining what asmr is and how i got into it but i do explain it in that trick i know i explain it in that trick introduction video how I got into creating ASMR video and I specifically give the intro for the trig videos, ASMR math videos that we created, mentioning why it is that I'm creating this. So that might be one to do, KC, if you feel like doing that. By the way, I'm almost done with the Hyperion song. One, two, three, one, two, two, three out of pages. Wow, I can't uh, recommend this book enough. If you love science fiction, really, Hyperion songs okay I'll keep that in mind do I have that book in my collection I don't think so uh, seeing we have a crowd here that I 
like good films, you might appreciate this book. Doop. Hyperion. The second book, Fall of Hyperion. Cool. Regarding video games, I'm just uh, talking about the arrogant subliminal messaging. Sorry, that's what I meant. Okay, no worries. Yeah, and there's a lot of subliminal messaging. I know uh, back in the day, there wasn't that much uh, golden age of video games, I guess. But I know a lot of video game companies, there were little ones and they got all bought out and they become centralized and centralized power What the, does what centralized power does, right? Thanks for the tip, mate. Blackwater is a merc company in oblivion, is in oblivion right now. Is it? Jesus. The title of the first book that uh, fall of Hyper. Listen to some records today. Caress of Steel was a, was one amazing. Yeah, Nikki. I love Caress of Steel. They didn't get too much love when it first came out. This is from Rush, by the way, Caress of Steel. And it's uh, sort of a story as mythical and uh, phenomenal. I love Caress of Steel. The first three, four albums from Rush were phenomenal, as were the all the way. I'm um, pre 1980s and pre 1980s uh, Rush mainly. Some of their newer stuff was fantastic as well. Games companies are full, fully of young, creative people who are drawing on the world around them for inspiration and humor. They used to be a lot more imaginative, Casey. The, the gaming people I was around back in the late 90s, uh, early 2000s, uh, there was a lot of creating for the love of it. But it slowly got hijacked and people started getting fired that didn't fit the corporate mold. And they went into movies and they divested from gaming and went to other industries. How do you feel about Trump? I don't know. He's... I feel about Trump the same way I feel about Obama or Clinton or Bush. Why don't we shoot that video? Video now. Oh, introduction to ASMR. Because I like to do it with an HD camera, not this camera here. And a lapel mic. Cool. I'll check that out and message you. Would be good to link all people who mention the volume. A quick explanation. Yeah, that would be actually. Uh, check it out, Casey. Let me know. It's, I think it's like a short video, it's like 10 15 minutes, but I can do a shorter one just to give an intro specifically for this for Twitch, and I'll be happy to. Uh, probably won't get into it until next week, but let me know. Uh, I would be, f uh, be f fun to watch you create. Uh, yeah, I've done a lot of live streams where I've created videos, I did some back end stuff at some point. We will, uh, Gentle Chaos, we'll, we'll go, we'll do more of that where I'm doing videos and live streaming and, and then we have discussions we sort of have a post discussion before we shoot the video and then we shoot the video and then we have a uh, or we have a pre-discussion shoot the video and then we have a post discussion one of the i think the last one we did that with was the uh liqueur video the first liqueur video we put out and that was a lot of fun that was a lot of fun do you draw no i'm a horrendous artist drawer Hello, hello, Lavia. How are you doing? <laughs> Video games have stopped uh, interesting me. I just don't have the attention span for it anymore. Feels bad. I haven't done it for a while, but th they still interest me. I will be playing again. Are you guys talking about Sophia Loren <laughs> without me? <laughs> we haven't yet. <laughs> Sophia Loren. Everybody should watch Sophia Loren movies, really maybe it's a phase i haven't played uh, video games in a long time but i know i'll get back get back into it when i um the zone for it chicho knows all about phases yeah yeah i'm with casey uh, i haven't played for a while but i will get back into it at some point as well i cannot decide should i continue to follow your chat or watch a young lady dance I have two windows open do both I think watching Chicho will inform you more in the long run. <laughs> Lord. Well, it's been a very long phase. I get into a rush from the TV show uh, Trailer Park Boys back when they started. Cool, cool. <laughs> Make you 
she's laughing. <laughs> Sophia Loren. That's normal. I'm also in a phase of not reading books right now. When I try to play a game, I get quickly annoyed at the uh, exposition, and I and I can't skip it. I almost immediately install it. Cool. That was a great stream. I still want to try the Lucure thing. I, it's phenomenal. The last strawberry from the liqueur. I gotta make more. Right, it's like fantastic. There's only there's only game I'm looking forward, and that game is still far away from being released. It's a game where you play as a shark and eat people. <laughs> what game is this? <laughs> Red, Red Van can't wait to make some with fresh fruit in the spring so yeah fresh fruit is the best fresh fruit really is the best i gotta make some yeah as soon as i get uh summertime hits i'm gonna get my hands on some fresh strawberries and make some man eater nice and just regarding sharks i watched uh a while ago i watched sharknado where it's a tornado with sharks in it <laughs> that was a fun watch i haven't watched any of the other ones two or three or four i don't know how far it's in but sharknado was fun i love b horror movies and gore movies it should only come out at night <laughs> so the whole main earthquake in canada <laughs> rambo i never understood why people go picking fruit till now no i'm like waiting on it so i can go pick some uh, <laughs> fruit. nice sharknado yeah same imagine my disappointment when i watch the latest godzilla oh god yeah do you think it will work with uh merlot grapes are merlot grapes the ones that they use for uh, wine probably yay sharknado the only uh, they only showed the monster for like 12 minutes oh wow all the parts of the sharknado though i don't know i i just enjoyed it it was fun another b-rated movie horror movie that i've watched like three times so far is eight legged freaks it's about big spiders eight legged freaks is awesome i love that movie so funny I think it worked with anything that tastes okay yesterday i watched that one movie with duen duane uh rock is on the big monkey it was decent oh i haven't watched that one the pineapple she's ready for tasting tonight oh man i gotta make the pineapple once i saw the pick that you had it up riot oh pineapple would be amazing this is the first time i'm cracking the the big pomegranate one he made and it's good very good so it's like a month i guess christ my spelling is atrocious today will not my spell my inability to write down the words i am thinking of i'm thrust missing words feels bad oh well my spelling is always horrendous so greetings blessings hello dr p rolling in towards the end of the stream have you seen the latest Godzilla from Toho Japan? No, I haven't seen the latest one. Chicho, do you think that the weed that is being sold in liquor stores now are experimental genetically modified strains? I'm pretty sure there's going to be genetically modified ones there. It seems that the THC really makes the mind more vulnerable for ideas. I'm not dissing marijuana. I just used to smoke a lot and do everything now and then. But wow. It's affecting people mentally and physically now um, the, our whole society is due for reprogramming that uh, one thing I used to tell people is a lot of people say oh they get paranoid when they when they smoke cannabis or when they vaporize cannabis or consume cannabis and my reply to them is maybe they should be paranoid right not to promote it just you know as Bill Hicks would say I'm not here to promote it I'm just here to 
discuss it. Nah, I don't watch many films. Godzilla was actually the last film I saw. If you don't count the documentary one, I prevent the guy to ideology based on an old game, wasn't that? But any monster film is great in my book. Yeah, I love monster films. Nice. I know those were really good. Uh, but I'm surprised they made it into the week here. Nice. Just show the monster. It's called Shin Godzilla. It was pretty. Oops. Blonde American soldier one about. Okay, oh, so it um, wasn't about. Love Jeffrey Dean Morgan in it. What's wrong with my brain? They, they should be paranoid. They should be paranoid. Sounds like maybe you could use some exercise and extending your attention span. If it's causing such problem, great advice, Casey. <laughs> yeah, I know it's more as much as I used to. Well, it's fine for reading books, uh, strangely enough. But I just can't stand it when games throw expositions at me and treat the player like an idiot. Yeah, I don't like anything that treats the viewer like an idiot. Movies, TV shows, games, books, education, anything, anything guys we've been going at this for two hours we gotta call the stream that was a lively stream that was a lot of uh, a lot of discussion a lot of politics glad we got into movies and stuff at the end need to play better games great stream teacher sorry i got this go to sleep nikki <laughs> nice stream it was a nice stream nice discussion thank you everyone for being here participating in the chat hey chicho i'm playing a couple of uh, passive cryptocurrency games would love to share the link uh, I am playing a couple of passive cryptocurrency games cryptocurrency games uh, go to discord post the links uh, dr. P just because I'll check them out there just because you're paranoid doesn't mean they're not <laughs> to get you <laughs> I forget who said that well right now gentle game uh, chaos gaming said that good evening everyone you should try to watch the purpose guide to ideology okay thank you for the recommendation i think you would like it cool thank you good night good night everyone good night love and gratitude chicho manifest destiny manifest destiny gang and on that note uh, i'll see you guys in the next video and i'll see you guys in the next stream if you can make it okay bye everyone bye libya and everyone else of course and thank you for modding everyone and thank you for the subs and the follows okay see you guys next